So what's the first information that you can uh, take out from uh, that question? Uh, the dot product will be zero. Yes, right, right. So we'll uh, so you have to use the dot product. Okay, right, right. So this uh, this should be the first approach to to solve that question. Okay. So any other doubt? You guys have any question regarding the mock test? No. Okay. Okay. So what are the physical quantities? Uh, that are associated with the motion in 1D. Okay, so let's bring it to the top. Let's see. Okay. Yes. Let me change the bold color. Okay, so what are the physical quanti quantities that are associated with the motion? Uh, as you already know, what are the physical quantities? One is what? Uh, distance, right? And there is displacement. And there is what? Speed, velocity, and acceleration, right? So these are the physical quantities associated with the moving body. Okay. And uh, so this chapter is a very short one. So this will be done in only in one class. Okay. So I will try to cover this only in this class. So what is distance? So let's say that you start from point A and you go to point B and then you go to point C and then you go to point D. Okay, so the distance is defined that it is the total path length. Okay, so distance is what? Firstly, it is a scalar quantity, right? Secondly, it is the total path length. Okay, so this was all. This was all about distance. And what is displacement? Displacement is a so it is a vector quantity. Okay. And secondly, it is what? So let's say you start from point A, you go to point B, and then you go to point C, and then you go to point D. So what is the shortest distance between A and D? This will be the straight line joining point A to point B, right? This will not be this. This will not be this. So this is the shortest path, right? Understood? Yes, sir. yes, sir. So this will be the displacement, right? So the shortest path from starting point to the final point. Okay, uh, let's do a question to understand it more clearly. Uh, so let's solve this question. Okay, so a body is moving in the circular path, right? And uh, it starts from a goes to B and then goes to C and then goes to D. 
and then to E, right? To A to account to complete a full revolution. Okay. So the first question is, and the radius of this circular path is R. Okay. So the first question is, what will be the distance? So what will be the distance from A to B? So what will be the distance from A to B? First question. First question. Distance. So what will be the distance? from A to A, A to B, anyone? Hmm. Heather, Adam, Abhinav, Anna, Anna or it's Anna or it's Anna? Is it? Anna, sir. Anna. Anna. Okay, okay. Yes, so it will be? Or it will be the hypotenuse of the triangle AOB, IARB. Like the center point uh, of the angle, if we mark it at O, at then the hypotenuse of the angle AOB will be the distance between AB. Yes, uh, distance will be when it goes from A to B. So this arc length, this arc length will be what this will be the distance na? right yes sir. okay so in your 10th class you have already learned that the arc length let's say arc a b right this will be what theta by 360 into 2 pi r right right yes sir so it is also one quadrant, so you can directly calculate because the total length will be what? Uh, let's say the total circumference. You can uh, solve it by two means, okay? One is that you calculate the arc length or the distance, or you calculate uh, or you get the geometry analogy and you calculate only the first quadrant length okay right this could be the two approach okay yes sir. so total yes so total circumference is 2 by 4 and when you want to directly calculate then it will be right uh, it will be what 2 by by 4 okay so this will be arc AB. But now when we calculate from this method, so this will be what? 90. Theta is what? 60 plus 60. Huh? 120 degrees. For AB, for AB, this is 90, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is 90 by 360 into 2 pi. Right. So this is Four and this is what this is r uh, so this goes so this is pi r by two right okay yes sir and uh, for displacement we have to calculate what we will have to calculate this length oh, so this straight line Okay, so for displacement, what will, what will be the resultant diagram? So for displacement, AB is what? So let's say this is the diagram. This length is what? R and this length is what? R. Yes, right. So we have to calculate this length. So this will be what? Root of r square plus r square. So this will be 2 r square. So this will be root 2 r. Understood? 
Yes, sir. So this was 40 A to B, right? And uh, for A to C, what will be the, let's say for A to C, question second, for, this is A, this is C, and uh, this distance is R. So for this, what will be the distance? What will be the distance? Hmm? In terms of the distance between A and B. Uh, yes, that is one method. Okay. Uh, yes, that is one method. Yes. Uh, you can also calculate this arc length. Right. Right. Yes. Sir. So one is that, yes, that is the right answer. You can always multiply. This is exactly the same. So you can multiply this by two and you get the final AC length, right? And the other one method that we were doing earlier is that, what is the theta here? 180. Yes, right. 180 by 360 into two pi r, right? So this is one by two into two pi r. So this is pi r. And we, you can also see that this is a semi-circular path, okay? So the total is what? So total is two pi r and the half of it is semi-circle. So you can solve it by different means. One is right to multiply it by two. Other one is that you calculate this arc length AC. And the third one is that you take the circle and the half of it will be the distance, right? So three methods to solve this problem, okay? Yes, sir. And uh, what will be the displacement? Diameter. Uh, sorry? The diameter. Yes, the diameter. The diameter of the circle. Yes, right. So which is 2R, right? Okay. Yes, sir. And the third question is for the full circle. If it's the body starts from here and comes back exactly uh, at the initial point, right? So one revolution. Okay. So what will be the displacement uh, distance? 2 pi r, 360 by 360 yeah. into 2 pi r. Yes, 2 pi r, the circumference of the circuit. And what will be the displacement? What will be the displacement? Zero. Yes, right. So it starts from here and comes back to again here. So your initial and final points are the same. So the shortest distance between them is zero. So zero, right. And the final question is that when you go, when you travel 60 degree, so you start from here and you travel 60 degree arc length. So this is 60, right? So let's say this point is E. Okay. Now what will be the, what will be the distance? Hmm? Uh, what will be the distance, Heather? Uh, for the full circle, right? No, it goes from A and comes here to E. And the angle is 60. Abhinav. Sir, it will be 60 by 360. Yes, right. 60 by 360 into 2 pi r. The arc length, na? A. Yes, sir. We want to, we want to calculate A. So this is 2 pi r. So pi r by 30. 6, right. So 3. 
right and yes, uh, what will be the displacement so this diagram is uh, very horrible looking i will come back to this diagram okay so from here uh, what will be the displacement from a to e what will be the dis displacement this will be this distance right the yes, chord sir. length so let's say uh, we are in this circle right so let's say this is a e and uh, this angle is given right so this angle is given 60 degree okay so it is a equilateral triangle because angle is 60 so r by yes three. yes yes right right exactly absolutely right yes yes so this is r this is r isosceles triangle and this is 60 so this will be 60 60 so this will be r so a e is r right on yes so from geometry we can calculate the distance uh, the, the, the displacement here so this will be what from geometry it will be r understood this question yes sir okay so let's come to the next uh, second question okay so uh, here we will use what we did in the vector class so some idea from the vectors okay so a body moves from zero to, uh, from o to a in semicircular part in the x y plane so a body starts from here and uh, goes to here o to a in the semicircular part right and then goes in the z direction to the distance a okay and then it goes in the y direction and the distance is what 2a right so what will be the distance and what will be the displacement right so distance is what distance is total path length okay So total path length is O A arc and then O B uh, A B and then B C right. So this is this is a semicircular path which has a radius A. Okay. So what will be the O A arc? What will be O A arc? For semicircle, this distance. So total is what? Total is two pi a, right? Yes, sir. So the semicircle will be half of it. Pi so a. Will, yes, right. So this will be pi, or you can also calculate with the angle, the arc length. Theta is what? One eighty degree, and your radius is a. So you can also calculate with theta by 360 into 2 pi a. So this will be what? 1 by, so 2 pi a, 2, and then this is pi. Okay, so OA is pi a and AB is what? AB is a, right? Yes, sir. And uh, BC, BC is what? 2A, right? So what will be the total distance? Distance will be what? Pi A plus A plus 2A, right? This will be the, the distance, no? Yes, sir. So this is 3a plus pi a. So a pi plus 3. Right. Any question? Yes. Any doubt? Any doubt? 
No, sir. And uh, now we will calculate the displacement uh, using the vectors property, right? So uh, when you see OA, so it goes a distance in the x direction, right? So what will be OA vector? Hmm? What will be OA vector? It is two way. Achha. It is two way distance in the x direction. So x direction is what? I hat, right? X direction is I hat, na? Anybody? Hello? Am I audible to anyone or? Yes, sir, you're audible. Yes, yes. So OA is what? 2A I hat. Okay. Yes, sir. And what will be AB vector? It goes in the Z direction, A distance. So what will be AB vector? Hmm? Hello. So it will be A, K hat, na? right? Yes, sir. And uh, what will be BC vector? What will be BC vector? It is in the a, Y. J cap. Yes, right. 2A, J cap. Right. So what will be the displacement vector? So displacement vector will be what? OA plus AB plus BC. Right. So it will be what? 2A I hat plus A K hat plus 2A J hat. So now let it write in the universal unit vector form, in the Cartesian form. So this will be what? 2A I hat plus 2A J hat plus A K hat. Okay, this is the displacement. So what will be the magnitude of this displacement? Heather, what will be the magnitude of this displacement? Uh, hmm? uh, I... Can you recall from the vector classes? I said, uh, so, uh, under root of. Uh, yes, yes, square yes, right. Two square plus one. Plus yes. Two. Yes, yes, right, right. So, yes. So, this will be the magnitude. For the Cartesian form, this was the magnitude, no? So, let's say this was a vector, this was ax i plus a y j plus a z k so the magnitude was what a x square plus a y square plus a z square right so again 2 a square plus a square so this is 4 a square plus 4 a square so this is root of 9 a square which means 9 a right so this is the distance and displacement for this motion. Understood? Understood, any doubt? Yes, sir. Okay. No, sir. So, so uh, the next topic is, the next topic is speed. So this chapter is very simple one. Uh, I will just quickly go through it and uh, do some questions. So what is speed? So there are, so this is what? 
a square quantity. Okay, and th this is divided in two types. So, so this is divided in two types. One is what? Uniform speed. So when this is simply what? S is what? X by T, distance upon time, right? So when a body covers equal distance in equal interval of time, then that is what? Uniform speed. And the other one is non-uniform speed. Okay, so it has also two types. And what is a non-uniform speed? When a body covers covers unequal distance in equal interval of time, right? So there are two types. One is the average speed and the other one is the instantaneous speed. Right, so average speed is what? This is the total distance upon total time. Okay, and uh, what is instantaneous speed? It is dx by dt, right? Where d by dt is the differential operator. Okay, so this is about the speed and similarly you have what? You have velocity, so velocity. Okay, and uh, velocity is what? A uh, vector quantity. Okay, and this has the same tree diagram as, the, the, as we did for the speed. So velocity is again of two types. One is the uniform. Okay, velocity. And this is non uniform velocity. Okay, and this has again two types. One is what? The average velocity. And this is what? The instantaneous velocity, right? So this is what? It is the total displacement. Upon total time. Okay. And this is what? V is dx by dt. Okay. So understood up to this point. Uh, am I going very fast or this is very trivial? So I'm going to... Very... It's all right. All right. Okay. So let's do some questions on the basis of speed and velocity. And uh, remember that uh, if you have, let's say, for the case of uh, speed, okay, and if you are in a rectilinear motion, uh, which means that you are following a straight line path, then speed and velocity magnitudes are equal. Okay. For a motion in a straight line. Okay. Just remember this. And the next thing is that. Uh, 
for average speed average speed remember this formula that if you are this can be done in two ways when your distance when you cover equal distance in parts in two parts right so when you cover equal distance in two parts which means that a body covers this distance d and again covers the same distance d uh, this is a and b and this distance the body covers in with v1 velocity and this distance it covers with v2 velocity okay so what will be the average speed here just remember the formula okay uh, because i don't want to derive we are v1 we we want... by yes even v2 v1 v2 by t uh, i didn't hear properly uh, speed let's say speed so yes, it is two v one v two by v one plus v two. Okay. Okay. Understood. And yes, uh, when uh, and when a body covers uh, equal, when it covers two distances in equal time parts. Okay. So this distance d1 in t and then again t with v1 velocity. So the average speed will be just v1 plus v2 by 2. Okay, understood. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, should I derive this? Because there is one question in that you will see that this is coming like this. Okay, so I have one question. So when we'll be solving that question, this will be useful. So let's do some question on the basis of this. Uh, yes. So this one. So the position is given. A particle moves in such a way that its position vector varies as r hat. Okay. So what will be the initial velocity? Okay. So here, what is given? The position is given as the function of what? as a function of r is given as a function of what anybody abhinav iram ana heather from this what you can say that so r is function of what a is a constant omega is a constant so r is a function of what t yes right so r is a function of t and uh, they are asking about in the first question the initial velocity so when your rt is given what will be the instantaneous velocity velocity at any instant v will be what dr by dt right Okay, so this will be what Vt and this is what T. So they are asking about the initial velocity, which means that they are asking about V at zero, right? Okay. Yes, sir. So let's calculate. First, we have to calculate what the velocity. So what will be the velocity here? Velocity will be what dr by dt. So this will be what 
recall the differentiation. So A is a constant, okay? And uh, D of, let's say theta, of cos theta will be what? Or let's say X. What, this will be what? Hmm? This is minus sine theta, na? Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. So this will be what? This will be minus of sine omega t. Okay, but there is an omega t factor here. So we will have also have to calculate d omega t by dt. Because let's say you have d of cos a t by dt. Okay, so you have to calculate uh, sine, uh, this will be sine a t and then d of a t by dt. So this will be what sine of a t into a, right? Okay. Yes, sir. So this is I hat plus this will be what? This will be a differentiation of sine omega t. This will be what? A cos omega t. Right. Into what? D omega t by dt j hat. Okay. Yes, sir. So you have done, uh, you have, you know about the differentiation, na? Yes, sir. So uh, you are not answering. Sir, it gets a little bit confusing. Yeah, uh, yes, sorry. Sir, it gets a little bit confusing. Okay, uh, the differentiation? Yes, sir. Okay, so we have to recall the usual uh, uh, differentiation. Uh, so one is what? The algebraic one. So let's say dxn by dx is what? This is nx n minus one and d of u into, let's say now, this is, let's say sine x by dx is what? Cos x and d of cos x by dx is sine x. And uh, let's say, let's say you have what? Uh, d of ax, ax plus b whole square by dx. So you have to use the series law. Okay. So one is that you have an algebraic expression. Let's say this is something of square. So firstly, you will have to use this. So this will be what? 2ax plus b 2 minus 1. And then you have to calculate d of this. So d by ax plus b. So this all this part is already been done no? uh, in your maths work part. Do you have any uh, doubt or hello? Sir, could you explain it once more? I, I understand. This part or this part? That part, this part. The right one or the left one? The left one. The left one, okay. So you see that uh, this is, uh, if you have, uh, let me rub this part. Okay. So the differentiation was what? D of, let's say dt and sine omega t, right? 
but you know that d sin t of dt is what cos t okay understood hello hello uh hello yes sir we can hear you yes so you understand that uh, d sin t of dt is what cos t but in here you have uh, something like this which is the function of t okay so let's say if you had something like d sin of t square by dt okay so firstly you will have to calculate the differentiation of this trigonometric function so which will be what which will be what the differentiation of this will be what uh, abino iram ana hello Cos t square 2t. Yes. 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 So firstly, we'll have to calculate the differentiation of this, and then you will have to calculate which is in the function part, in the argument of sine function. So then you will have to calculate dt square by dt. So yes, uh, Anna or Iram got the right answer. So, so this will be what cos t two square into 2t. So we use the same formula okay the same uh, condition that firstly we will have to calculate the differentiation of this cos omega t and then which is in the argument of cos then we have to calculate this part differentiation also okay so is it clear now so this will be what cos omega t into d by dt of omega t right so am i clear now or is there any doubt you are clear now sir okay okay so um, so this will be what so this is what a sin uh, omega t into this is what omega right plus a cos omega t into omega j hat so this is what Minus of a omega sine omega t i hat plus a omega cos omega t j hat. Right. So we have calculated v as function of t. Okay. Understood. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, sir. And. Uh, they are asking about the initial velocity so what will what we will use in here what condition we have to use for initial velocity t is what you calculated uh, the velocity okay you calculated the velocity so they are asking about the initial velocity okay so initial velocity means your t is what zero right so t is zero so we have to calculate what v zero right mm -hmm. so this will be what a omega sin zero is what zero Sine zero, so this is zero. I hat plus a omega cos zero j hat, right? So this is one. So your initial velocity will be what? A omega j hat. Understood? Yes, sir. So this was the initial velocity, and in the second part, they are asking about. the angle between the position and velocity okay so uh, recall the vector 
losses. Okay, so how will you calculate? Let me let me write the let's say let's say you have a vector a. Okay, your a is given, your b is given, right? And you want to calculate the angle between them. So, what property of the vectors you will use to calculate the angle? This we have done in the previous class, in the vectors class. So all chapters are connected with each other, somehow. Tell me. So, so your, let me write it here. Uh, A is what? Cos omega t plus A sin omega t j. Okay. Yes. So your, R is what? A cos omega t i hat plus A sin omega t j hat. And your V is what? This is what? Minus of something, let's say. This is minus A omega sin omega t i hat plus a omega cos omega t j hat. Okay, so these two vectors are given and you have to calculate the angle between r and v. So what property you will use? Any idea? Uh, you know that your a dot b is what? Okay. Do you remember this? Yes, sir. And uh, from this R V, can you calculate A dot B? Hmm? So if this is in I and J form, so you can calculate A dot B, right? For the Cartesian form, your A dot B was what? It was AX into BX plus AY into BY plus AZ into BZ, right? So this was in the Cartesian form, right? Remember? Yes, sir. So we can calculate A dot B. And this is in the Cartesian form, in the unit vector form. So can we calculate A vector? Hmm? your magnitude of A will be what? AX square plus AY square plus AZ square, right? Switch, switch on. Light, light. Yes, thank you. Yes, so what will be the magnitude of B? Okay. Right? Any question? No, sir. So we know A dot B, we know A magnitude, we know B magnitude, and what is left? Theta, na? Okay, so from dot product, we can calculate this theta. So always remember that if you have given the vectors in the uh, unit vector form, that then you can always calculate the angle between the vectors. This will this will have come in the uh, mock test. So 
so this question was already there okay so let's move ahead uh, because uh, we already are very late uh, so what will be our magnitude quickly so this will be what a square cos square omega t right and this will be what a square sin square omega t and what will be b magnitude this will be what a square omega square uh, sin omega t plus this will be what a square omega square cos square omega t right and what will be a r dot v this will be a into i i so this will be what minus of a square omega cos omega t into sin omega t right and this will be what uh, this will be what a and a square omega sin omega t into cos omega t right any doubt no sir so this is this is equal so this cancels out so this is zero okay so r dot v is zero which means that your theta is what theta is what if your a dot b is zero which means that a b cos theta is zero these are not zero so cos theta is zero so theta is what theta uh, for what value of theta your cos is zero cos 90 is zero na cos 90 is zero okay so this is what cos 90 so this is what 90 okay any question any doubt so theta is what 90 degree any question no, no. okay and the third question is uh, Hmm. Uh, the third question is speed at any instant. Okay, so we have already calculated what? The velocity. Okay, and uh, the speed will be the magnitude of this velocity. Okay, so we already calculated the magnitude of this velocity. This will be what? Mm. root of okay so this will be root here and nobody told me about this root okay so the magnitude will be what the magnitude of speed will be what the third question the magnitude will be what this so we have calculated this here so this is what so this will be what Heather this will be what Hello, Iram, Heather, Abhinav. A Anna. omega. Yes, so this will be what? A square mm -hmm. omega square? Yeah, so this will be Okay, <laughs> okay, so. I'm sorry, sir, that was my brother. Okay, uh, yes, the brothers are always like this. No problem, no worry. So this is the magnitude of the speed. Okay, uh, speeds. 
magnitude. Understood? Any doubt? No, sir. No, so, sir. Th so the third question was what? The speed at an instant. And we already calculated the velocity. Okay. So this was the velocity. And to calculate the speed, we just calculated the magnitude of this vector. Okay. And you already know that what is the magnitude of this vector? In the previous question, we already calculated the magnitude, which was like this. Okay. So you we use this uh, formula and we reached here. Okay. So any question? No question. No, okay. So let's try, uh, I will skip that question because I was talking about this question earlier. Uh, let's do this quickly and then move ahead. Okay. So let's do this question. Yes. So uh, a person traveling in a straight line moves in a, with the constant velocity v1 for a certain x and uh, with a constant velocity v2 for next equal distance. Okay, the average velocity v is given by the relation. So you already know what will be the average velocity. This is in the rectilinear motion. So your average velocity is average speed. So recall what was your average velocity? Uh, it is written V here. So let's write V and recall the formula. What was the formula? It was two V1 V2 by V1 plus V2, right? Okay. Hello. So do you remember this formula for equal distance, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So here it is given that the next equal distance. So you know that for equal distance, this was the formula. Okay. And if you want to derive this, you can just calculate. So let's say this is X, this is X, your, this is your V1, this is your V1. So average velocity will be what? Total distance by total time. So your total distance is what? X plus X and your time T1. For here, T1 is what? X by V1, right? Understood? Yes. And what will be T2? X by V2. Yes, X by V2. So this is, uh, this is what X by V1 and this is X by V2. So this will be what? I didn't want to derive this formula, but just let, let's just derive. So this is average. So this is what 2x and this is what? When you take the LCM here, this will be V1, V2, right? And this will be what? V2x plus V1x, okay? So, so this will go in here. Okay, so this will be what? 2x into V1, V2 upon, and in here x is common. So this is V2 plus V1, okay. So you get what? You get two V1, V2 by V1 plus V2, okay. So for equal distance, you get this formula. So do not remember this derivation, always remember this formula, okay. Because in the, your NEAT exam, you will not be deriving any formula. You just have to remember formula at, at an instant. You just remember the formula, okay. So, 
this was the average velocity okay and uh, when you directly use this formula so this question is very simple so your v is what 2 v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 right and in here uh this is not matching okay so this is discarded and uh, this is again we don't have any square so this is discarded so these two looks kind of similar okay so we'll have to solve these further so this is v by 2 and this is v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 right okay understood yes, yes sir and this is not matching with the option so what we will have to do here uh, we will take what can anybody tell me we will take what to match the option the second one uh we take the reciprocal of these two terms right we invert these two terms okay is that right yes sir so this will be what 2 by v and this will be what v1 plus v2 by v1 v2 any problem in doing that no sir no sir so this will be what this is matching with the option so this will be what v1 by v1 into v2 plus v2 by v1 into v2 so this cancels and this cancels so 2 by v is 1 by v2 plus 1 by v1 okay so option which option is correct this option right any question yes sir no sir so let's move on to the next question uh first let's talk about the acceleration part and uh, then we will do all these calculations because i wanted to end this chapter in this class okay. so let's say acceleration the third one one is what acceleration again it has the same types one is one is what the uniform acceleration and the other one is what non uniform acceleration okay and it has also two kinds one is the average acceleration and the other one is the instantaneous acceleration okay so average ac acceleration is what v final minus v initial by t final minus t initial okay so acceleration is what this is rate of change of velocity okay so when you have equal change in velocity in equal interval of time and this is the other way around when you have uh, unequal change in equal interval of time okay and what is the instantaneous acceleration it is let's say this a it is dv by dt or the double derivative of your position vector okay understood any question any question in this 
Okay. So let's move on to the kinematics equation and then we will do the questions. Let's skip that. So when you have a uniform acceleration, okay, then you have four kinematics equations. Okay. One is what V is U plus A T, right? And all these are equations for the uniform acceleration for the constant acceleration. These equations are only valid for constant acceleration. Okay. So second one is what? Ut plus uh, at square. Third one is what? And fourth is what? Sn is u by 2, 2 n minus. Okay. So this is the nth distance covered. The distance covered in the nth second. Okay. And what will be the vector form of these equations? So in vector form, this will be what? u plus a t. And the second equation will be what? S will be u t plus half a t square. And third is what? V dot v minus u dot u is u a dot s. And fourth is what? Okay, understood? Yes, sir. So this is all about the first chapter and on the basis of these, uh, we will solve the rest of the questions. Okay, so let's solve this question. The instantaneous velocity of a particle moving in a straight line is given as, so the form of V is given. What yes. So the form of V is given and the distance traveled by the particle one uh, between one second and two second. Okay. So the instantaneous velocity is given, right? V is given as the function of T. And what is the relation between the, for the instantaneous case, what is the relation between the velocity and the position or the distance? What is the relation between them? Hmm? Anybody? The instantaneous velocity is what? Right. So this was the instantaneous velocity, no? Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, we want to calculate the distance from this differential form. So this is a derivative, okay? And we want to calculate the distance from it. So the opposite of a derivative is what? The opposite of derivation is what? Iram, the opposite of derivative. Integral. Yes, integral. So this we want to calculate, okay. Right. And 
the integral of dx will be what x so x will be what v dt and what is so this is the lower and upper limit of what time t okay so they have already given the limits of the integral okay so this is from 1 to t right okay so what will be the integral so this is alpha t plus beta t square okay dt from 1 to 2 okay any doubt no sir so yeah. yes so let's carry here so this will be what the integral of t is what t square by 2 yes so this is alpha t square by 2 in the limit 2 to 1 and what is t square integral t cube by 3 Yes, right. So this is t cube by 3 in the limit 2 to 1. Right. So this will be what? Alpha by 2. And when we plug in the upper and lower limit, so this will be what? 2 square minus 1. And this will be what? 2 cube minus 1. Right. So this will be what? Alpha by 2. This is 3. Okay and beta by 3 this is 7 so this is what 3 alpha by 2 plus 7 beta by 3 any doubt in this question no sir so this is the answer so you understand the approach huh? yes sir okay so let's try the other question the next question Yes. So Abhinav, what is given here? Hello Abhinav. Yes. yes. So the distance, the distance is given, right? Yes. Sir. And the velocity and acceleration information we have to use. Okay. So the distance is given, let's say. S is what? T cube minus 6 T square. So firstly, we'll calculate the velocity, right? So this will be what? So this is the velocity, right? Yes, sir. And what is the acceleration? Zero. Ah, this yeah. is? dv yeah. by dt na? so this will be what uh, 3 into 2t minus 12 right so this is what 6t minus 12 right yes. okay and now we have to use the information that is given right so they are saying that the acceleration is zero so we have to calculate that velocity, okay, where the acceleration is zero. So in to calculate the velocity, we need what? The value of the value of what? Hmm? Value of time, na? okay. Should. Should. Yeah. Can you repeat like the last thing you said? Your voice broke in between. Okay, okay. 
so uh, they want us to calculate the velocity velocity when the acceleration is zero okay yes sir so velocity is dependent upon what time yes sir and if we know the value of time then we will able to calculate the velocity okay yes sir so from this information we will calculate the time okay so they yes, are sir. saying that the acceleration is zero okay so from this your 60 minus 12 is zero so this will give us what the time right yes sir so we calculated the time and for this time the acceleration is what zero so we plug in this t in here okay so we will be what 3 into 2 square minus 12 2 plus 3 well, wait a minute this is 3 now right okay so this is 3 so this is what uh, 12 minus 24 plus 3 so this is 15 minus 24 so this is minus 9 okay understood yes sir so this is the right answer okay and i want you to note this question Please, you guys, take a screenshot of this question. Okay, take the screenshot of this 10th number question. Hmm. You, uh, you guys, okay. So in the next class, you guys tell me the answer of this question. And what is given? Your acceleration is given, right? And uh, as zero is the time interval between t equals to zero and the instant when f is zero. Okay. So same analogy we have to use. We have to calculate what v, which is what a of dt, right? And from t equals to zero to the, uh, the only thing that is uh, not here and we have to use this information to calculate the value of this upper bound. Okay. So this is how you calculate the answer of this question. Okay. Any, any doubt? No, sir. So use this information and calculate the answer of this. In the next class, I will be asking what is the answer of this question. Okay. Yeah. So let's move on. Move on to the next question. This is not important. Uh, this is not important. Okay. This is. So this is a good question. So they have given what? They have given the position or the distance. Okay. And they want us to calculate what? And the uh, the acceleration, right? So they are saying that the acceleration is varying like x to the power minus n. Okay. So this we have to use in our calculation. Okay. Understood? Yes, sir. So we have to find acceleration in a in such a way that it is a power of something, okay? And uh, the ultimate or the goal of our calculation is that we want to calculate A as a power of this, okay? 
then we will be able to what calculate the value of n understood yes sir so first calculate a from here so what will be a from here so we have to take two derivatives right one derivative will give what one will be give one will be giving b and the other one will be giving what a so let's calculate the first derivative from here so what will be the differentiation here if you take the derivative with respect to t take d by dt okay so this will be what d by dt of x square plus t by dt of the whole term right okay so this will be what first is the algebraic one so what this will be what hmm Hmm. Ana. The differentiation of x square will be what? Two x. Yes, two x, and then you will have to find the derivative of this x, right? Yes. So this will be dx by dt. Yes, right. And then you will calculate the d by this will be what two a t plus this will be what two b and other one is zero. Okay, so what will be the value of so this is what d x by d t is what two is common here so two is cancelled out. So this is a t plus b by x. Okay, understood up to this point. Yes, sir. So this is the velocity, and then we have to calculate one more derivative of this. Okay. So we will take the derivative of this one more time. This will be what d square x by d t square, which will be what. A t plus b by x square d by d t. Okay. One moment, please. Yes. So where were we? uh and uh, we have to use what uh, formula of differentiation do you guys remember u by v differentiation hmm d by d let's say x of u by v it was what uh can you guys recall derivative of u into v plus derivative of v into it was u, u dash v square. minus yes 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 u dash v minus u v dash upon v square it was minus right 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 nice so we have to use this formula okay so when we will use this formula this will be what derivative of this this will be what a right into x square okay oh this was x now okay this was x so Okay, understood. And yes, then, sir. 
u v dash v dash is what dx by dt upon x square right right See? this will be what a x minus a t plus b and uh, what was uh, what was dx by dt right so this is a t plus b by x by x square right understood yeah so this is yes, so this is a x minus a t plus b whole square by x by x square now we'll have to take the lcm of here so this will be what a x square minus a t plus b whole square by x. This is x. So this will be what x cube. Understood up to this point. Yes, sir. Now, yes. Uh, uh, now what was our goal? Can you recall our goal? Our goal was to write the value of acceleration, the value of acceleration in such a way that it is some power of what x, right? Yes, sir. But uh, in here, uh, this is some power of x, but this is some lengthy calculation, right? Yes, sir. So we will have to solve this x square here. Okay. Okay, understood my point. Yes, sir. And what was the value of x? It was a t square plus two b t plus c. Right? Yes, sir. So So a into a t square plus two b t plus c, and this is what a square t square plus two a b t uh, plus b square, right? Upon x cube. Any question? No, sir. So now we will solve this further. My connection is unstable, right? Okay. So this is what a square t square minus two a b t uh, plus a c minus a square t square minus two a b t and minus b square, right? Upon x cube. So this cancels out, this cancels out, and we are left with what? We are left with AC minus B square by X cube. So this, this is some number, which is, which doesn't depend on X or anything or T. Okay. So our A is what? Some number, let's say, m into x to the power what minus three right yes sir and uh, they are saying that uh, to compare this term with what x to the power minus n right this was the question no? yes sir so what will be the value of n three right right so this is the answer. Okay, understood? Understood, sir. Yes, sir. So let's move on to the, let's, so this was the question. Okay, so the acceleration, sorry. my internet is very unstable. Right?
अरे सॉरी गाइस यस सो दिस वाज द क्वेश्चन एक्सेलरेशन वाज एक्स टू द पावर माइनस एन एंड वी हैव वी हैड टू कैलकुलेट व्हाट एन सो दिस वाज आर अप्रोच ओके दिस वाज आर अप्रोच अंडरस्टूड so we the key thing is that we have to keep a goal and follow that direction so uh, in the and uh, in the end you will find the answer of the question okay so can i have 5 minutes more because i have already passed my time one yes, half okay okay so i will solve this last one more question uh, let acha you guys try this question okay so just take a screenshot shot of this question and i will do one more question and then we will finish the class okay so did you guys take the screenshot yes sir so two questions for your homework is that okay yes sir okay. sir so if you if you guys face any problem i will discuss that uh, problem in the next class so no worries if you are not able to solve the question we will solve it together so the last question is where is the question yes this is actually the second last are what is happening sorry guys my internet is behaving very okay yes so the same kind of question okay so your uh, distance is given the function of the distance is given which is t ax square plus bx right okay and you want to calculate the acceleration hmm so what is the solution here or what is the goal here the goal is simple what do you guys have to do find the acceleration uh you have to take two derivatives right right yes sir so let's take the two derivatives one is what this is t square x square plus bx so let's take one derivative so this will be what one and this will be what tell me this will be what hmm this is Right. Two a x plus b. Two a x, and uh, we also have to take the derivative of this term, no? So yes. one. So this is what d x by d t, right? And okay. this will be what d x by d t. Okay. Understood. Yes, sir. So this will be what two. A x plus b d x by d t, right? So your d x by d t will be what? This will be one by two a x plus b, right? Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, to 
uh, calculate uh, the acceleration, you will, uh, you will have to what? Take one more derivative. So take one more derivative. So this will be what? d square x by dt square, which is what? Acceleration, which is what? Uh, this is again. So this is one over something. One over, let's say, x. So this is what? This is minus of 2ax plus b square, right? So this is what? This is x to the power minus 1. So this is what? Minus of x minus 1 minus 1. So minus one of square, right? So this is like this. And then you take the derivative of two ax plus b. So this will be what? Two a dx by dt, right? Any doubt in this? No, sir. So this will be what? So this is, Okay, so this A is uh, making a confusion. So let's write this acceleration. So acceleration is what? Minus 2A. And what is the value of your dx by dt? Value of dx by dt? 1 by 2Ax plus B. Yes. So ax plus b right so this is what minus 2a by 2ax plus b q and you know that dx by dt is v right so this is what minus 2a v q understood yes sir so this was the answer any doubt in this question? No, sir. So mi minus 2a vq. So this was the answer. So we will end the class here. And uh, you guys, please do those two questions, please. OK? Yes, sir. OK. So.